what's going on everyone uh, so decided to do something a little different today decided to expand the horizons a little bit uh, branch out a little bit from the cards um, you know I'm just doing videos of things that interest me hopefully they interest you uh, so today I'm gonna be doing a top 15 highest selling VHS tapes um, something that I've wanted to do for a little bit uh, I just I like collecting things and, and interest in things that other people collect and how much they're worth I read a story in the last few years of Disney VHS is selling for thousands and thousands of dollars and that kind of piqued my interest and was just curious what other VHS is sell for so this video will be a, a top 15 highest selling VHS's of the last few months and I'll kind of dig into that Disney thing a little bit because I think there's some shady stuff going on there so and of course if you haven't yet please subscribe that would be great help out a, a smaller channel that's that's trying to grow let's get into it so before we jump into the top 15 selling VHS tapes I wanted to kind of take a look at these Disney Black Diamond VHS's that have been supposedly selling for crazy amounts of money uh, so as you can see here on eBay, the highest sales of VHSs are, the top four are Disney, these Disney Black Diamonds. So first one being Aladdin, then The Little Mermaid, 101 Dalmatians, and Beauty and the Beast. But when you look closer, you can see some things don't add up. First of all, when you look at the seller for each of these, it's uh, each one has zero reviews which for somebody selling something for this amount of money is rare. The second thing is that each of them only got one bid and it was uh, for these crazy amounts. And then when you look at the bidders themselves, each of them have an initial at the front and then a seven at the end, which makes me think that there's some market manipulation going on here that it's the buyer and the seller are the same or are working together to try and manipulate the prices of these VHS's uh, to try and set the market standard, make them seem like they're worth more than they are. So beware when you are one, shopping for these kinds of VHS's and two, selling. Uh, just keep in mind that while there are some that are probably actually selling for uh, large amounts of money, uh, they're not quite selling for this amount. All right, let's get into the top 15. All right, so number 15, we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, and this is the original version. Uh, and this sold for $1,850 on February 22nd of this year. And this was a, a VHS and a, a Betamax set. And the Betamax is similar to VHS, but the Betamax has a little bit better quality, more resolution. So number 14, we have the Sword in the Stone. It sold for $2,000 on February 13th of this year. Uh, and this is the, the original Sword in the Stone version. It was the, the first edition that came out on VHS. And it was that, that black diamond that tends to sell for a little bit more. But as you can see, this one didn't sell for 10, 15, 20,000. It sold for 2,000, which is still quite a bit of money for a VHS. A little bit more reasonable and believable than that 10, 20 grand that we saw earlier. Number 13, we have the WWF Royal Rumble. From 1994 it sold for $2,025 and this one got 23 bids uh, which isn't too bad for uh, for something like this so that means there's at least two people going back and forth that wanted this so there's some demand for this VHS and it sold on January 31st of this year number 12 we have uh, another Disney this is Alice in Wonderland and it sold for $2,453.42 which is a weird um, weird amount to sell for. Uh, it wasn't a bid, it was a, that was just how much they were asking for it. Uh, so that seems strange to me. I don't know if there's any sort of reason that they were asking that specific amount, but I mean, the sellers got 2,185 reviews, so it doesn't stand out to me as being something that's super fishy. Um, and the other kind of selling feature of this one is that it is unopened. Uh, so this is still sealed in the original, original wrap. Number 11, we have the movie Halloween, the original, uh, from 1978, 1979. The surprising thing about this one is that it's a former rental movie. Uh, so, you know, it got viewed several times, hundreds of times, maybe even over the course of its life. 
uh, and it sold for $2,500 uh, with one bid. Um, again, the, the seller has a, a ton of reviews, so this doesn't stand out to me as being something that's uh, fake or fraudulent or anything. So I, I fully believe this person sold this for $2,500. And that was on March 11th of this year, so just uh, just about a week ago. And then number 10, we have back-to-back -back Halloween movies. This one you can see is looks like it's the same version. Uh, I don't think this one was a rental. This one got $2,823.40. Again, kind of a strange number to uh, to be asking, um, but at the same time, the the seller's got a decent amount of reviews, so just that doesn't really strike me as um, fishy at all. And this one sold on March second of this year. Coming in at number nine, we have another Disney movie. Uh, it's a tale as old as time, Beauty and the Beast, uh, not the the new Emma Watson. This is the original cartoon from ninety two. Uh, again, this is a, a Black Diamond edition, and this sold for $2,999 uh, on February 12th of this year. Uh, so while there were quite a few Disney movies that stuck out as being fraudulent or uh, fake, this there are some that seem like they were legit, this being one of them. Number eight, we have what I believe is the only non-horror, non-wrestling, non-Disney movie on the list. Uh, and it's a movie called Aphrodite uh, from 1984. Uh, says that it's an unrated version and it has also never been opened, so sealed. Um, and this sold for $2,999.99. And, and that was on February 27th of this year. So not a movie I've heard of, but apparently if you have it on VHS unrated sealed you can get a get almost three grand for it number seven we have another disney movie uh first pixar and this is cars from 2007 it's sealed and there was so there were actually three of these that sold um kind of in the same time period i didn't want to make a separate listing for each one uh so two of them sold for three thousand five hundred dollars and the third one sold for three thousand one hundred and fifty uh, the most recent being on December 25th of this year. And the features of this are is that it was part of the Disney Movie Club exclusive. Uh, it's never been opened. And according to the seller, this it was the last movie made by Disney that was made into a VHS. Uh, so I guess that's that and being a part of the, the movie club is where this supposedly gets its value. At first, looking at it, I thought it was kind of shady, but looking a little more into it, it seems like this could be legit. A legit sale. Number six, another Disney, 101 Dalmatians. Again, the Black Diamond version. And this sold for $4,300. It's the, the VHS is from 92. And that sold on March 3rd of this year, so just a couple weeks ago. And a lot of these Disney movies are in the, the clamshell case. And, you know, even this one, it doesn't look like the case is in amazing condition or anything. So even if you have one of these lying around and you, you think it might not sell because it's dinged up or something, that, that doesn't nece that's not necessarily the case. It could still sell. Whether you get 4300 for it or you get $200 or you get 5 bucks for it, you know, that just depends on if you find the right buyer or not. But uh, the potential is there. Number five, we have another Halloween movie, this one being the second one. And this one's a, a Betamax, not a VHS. Um, still put it on here just because they're close enough in relation and about the same time period. Uh, and this was, uh, according to the seller, first print. And this sold for $6,500 with two bids. And that was on December 16th of last year. Number four, we have Cars again, same version uh, as above, I think the number seven. Uh, same kind of thing where there was three of them that sold, which that does kind of raise a red flag that they sold in threes each time. But I'm going to give the, the person the benefit of the doubt on this. Um, you know, I'm not sure why this set here of three would sell for twice as much as the other set. But um, these each went for $7,000, most recent being December 22nd of this year. Um, and it looks like they sold around the same time as those other ones as well. So not 100% sure why the uh, the price difference there. 
Number three, we have our second WWF Royal Rumble VHS. Uh, this one being sealed and having a a watermark on the bottom, which I believe is that black sticker there in the picture. In the description, he said that he has eight copies total, but only one with the watermark. And so this one with the watermark had 17 bids and sold for $8,100 on January 31st of this year. Number two, we have another Alice in Wonderland Disney movie, uh, Black Diamond. Uh, so it's the second time this has been in the the top 15 and this one sold for just under ten thousand dollars just by a penny um and i don't know if it helped it but this one part of the proceeds went to charity so i don't know if that was a a selling point for whoever purchased it uh it wasn't an auction it was a, a buy it now um and it sold on december 17th of last year and the number one highest selling vhs uh, in the last few months, uh, is another horror and another Halloween. It's Halloween 2, second time in the top 15. Uh, it says it's the original MCA version, and it sold for $10,000, and that sold on March 8th of this year. And this one is also sealed, never been opened. So there you have it. That's the top 15 highest selling VHS tapes of the last few months. Um, as you can see, Disney and horror are king. So if you have some old horror movies laying around, not necessarily even Halloween, uh, especially if they're sealed, they're gonna you could probably get a fair amount of money for them. Same with Disney. If you got some sealed tapes, while you might not get two, three, five, ten grand for them, you could probably still get a decent amount of money for them, especially if you have a, a bunch laying around in a closet or something like that. So and the other one that sells pretty well are wrestling, uh, specifically the Royal Rumbles. Uh, sealed so if you have any old wrestling tapes dig them out see what you got look through ebay see what they're going for well thanks for watching if you haven't yet please subscribe let me know if you like this video and i'll do more like it in the future uh, like dislike comment all the above we'll see you next time